All right, so question number one here of our uh, practice test. So let's go ahead and get into it. And the directions say graph the equation. So we're being taken all the way back to chapter number three, the very beginning of the semester. And we've been given negative uh, 5x minus 25y equals 25. And you may recall that we can graph this equation in one of two ways. Either we can take the equation that's been given to us and put it into y equals mx plus b, where b is our y-intercept and m is going to be our slope. Or we can go ahead and solve for the uh, x and y-intercepts. So let's go ahead and why not do both of them, just for the sake of a uh, review here, since this is going to be our final. So let's go ahead and uh, first and foremost, we'll take the given equation and Put it into y equals mx plus b. So if we've been given negative 5x minus 25y equals 25. And again, we want this in y equals mx plus b, also known as slope intercept form. So we want to make this equation look like this equation, where y is on one side and everything else is on the other. So first things first, let's go ahead and add 5x to both sides. And when we do that, we're left with a negative 25y equals, well now, 5x plus 25. And lastly here, we'll divide by negative 25 on both sides. And that's going to leave us with y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 1. So here we have... 5 divided by negative 25, which is going to give us negative 1 over 5, and then our x, and then positive 25 divided by negative 25 is negative 1. So here is the exact same equation, just now written in slope-intercept form. And let's go ahead and graph this line. So again, negative 1 is our b, our, our y-intercept, so we're going to go to negative 1 on the y-axis, plot that point and then from here we're going to use our slope to derive the next point and don't remember you might remember that slope is rise over run so we're going to in this case because our numerator our rise is negative instead of going up we're going to actually fall so we're going to go down one and then run in the positive direction five. So we're gonna go down one and then run to the right five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's our next point. And then we only need two points to create a line, right? So we have two points here and I'm never very good at connecting the dots on the computer here, so I'm sorry, but just pretend that that's a straight line. And there you have it, our line. So y equals negative one over five x minus one. Let's go ahead and actually solve for the x and y intercepts, and you'll see that we end up with the exact same line. So we'll go ahead and create a little another section here. So we were given again negative 5x minus 25y equals 25. And you may recall that when we are solving for the x and y intercepts, we want to go ahead and create a little t table or a little chart here. And when we want to solve for y, we're going to plug 0 in for x. And we want, when we want to solve for x, we're going to plug 0 in for y. So let's go ahead and determine what our uh, y-intercept is going to be by plugging 0 in for x. So we'll have negative 5, plug in that 0 for x, minus 25y equals 25. Well, negative 5 times 0 is 0, so that just goes away. So we're left with negative 25y equals 25. So we'll divide by negative 25 on both sides. And so we're left with y equals negative 1. All right. And then lastly, let's go ahead and solve for the x-intercept by plugging 0 in for y. So we have negative 5x minus 25. Plug 0 in for y equals 25. Well, negative 25 times 0 is 0, so that goes away. So we're just left with negative 5x equals 25. And if we want to solve for x here, we'll divide by negative 5 on both sides. And then that's going to leave us with x equals negative 5. 
And then you'll remember once you have your chart filled in, these just become points, don't they? So let's see, zero, negative one, zero, negative one, we already had, right? Because this is our y-intercept and in slope intercept form, b is our y-intercept. So we already had that point, but we didn't have negative five, zero, but you can see that negative five, zero, if my line was straight, you can see would be on that line. So let me go ahead and rewrite the line now that we have uh, some additional points here. So, oops, there we go, a little better. All right, so either way, so if you had chosen to do your X and Y intercepts, you would have had this point and this point, and you would have connected those two dots. Or if you solved for slope intercept form Y equals MX plus B, you would have plotted this point and this point and connected those two dots. Either way, you end up with the same line. So it's uh, your preference, whichever way you want to graph this. All right, so that was question number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at question number two. I'll see you there.